Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about this new bookshelf that I'm going to be uh, here and there. Today is the day, you guys, that I will try to organize my little sewing area hence i said sewing area i wish i was saying sewing room i wish i had my own space but that is not the case so if you guys don't know my little sewing area is in our bedroom there's not that much space <laughs> and let me tell you i have a whole bunch of fabric so that is one of the main things that i need to be organizing right now and i'm going to show you how i'm planning on doing it i haven't started yet this is why I've actually decided to do this video. There is one thing that I did start doing, and that is the little, uh, what should I call it? The little accessories bookcase, that's how I'm gonna call it. Um, and I call it that because I have like literally little accessories for like sewing projects, whether it's like buttons, elastics, cords, and fringe you know the, the little stuff like that i have it all organized um i actually started organizing that already i'm like almost done with it the reason why i didn't record that part is because i wasn't planning on starting like this whole video to begin with um i really did not know that i was going to do this whole reorganizing thing as much as i'm doing it now i just thought that hey i'm going to like just rearrange where the books are and i'm gonna put this basket a little bit lower and then I literally just went like, okay, am I keeping this button? I'm keeping that button. No, you know, I really went hard at this like reorganization thing. So you see like this whole big mess right there. That's because I'm still in the process of like figuring everything out. Um, all of those, those colorful bins are something that I was using before, but now I put them in other bins and yada, yada, yada. I don't need them anymore, I think. Okay, so over here we have that accessories bookcase that i was telling you guys about i'm almost done with it um what i had before were these bins right here so they are from ikea and so is the bookshelf well technically originally it's from ikea i personally got it from craigslist for 10 bucks so <laughs> pat on the back i think i did a good job but anyways so it's best friends with my boyfriend's computer table right here, which I'm not going to show you because he's in the process of reorganizing everything as well. And it's a mess and he'll be very mad. So anyway, so like I said, everything we're in these bins, basically. But if you well, obviously you can't see because they're not in there right now. But these bins actually come out from this bookshelf by like, I would say like this much. Right. So they're too large. And they were like all on the bottom and one was like over here, I think, because I don't know, just the way that the shelves are set up on this bookcase, it was really, really retarded. So I didn't like that. I was actually on my way to Ikea with my mom because I wanted to look for something um, different, like maybe smaller bins or something else that I can reorganize everything in. And when we got to Ikea, let me tell you, the line to get in, I don't know why but it was so big it was so long and and it's like we got there at like around 10 30 in the morning the store opens at 10 i really did not expect that i don't know what happened during quarantine i don't know if everyone's trying to reorganize their their rooms or their living spaces but god damn like if we decided to stay in that line we would have been waiting for like an hour and a half two hours i'm i'm not even joking like it was that bad like it was bad so we just like went home so when i went home we actually stopped by the dollar tree and this is when we found those little bins i'm going to show you right now this is where i found these bins right here so i first got them in white i didn't get enough try to go back they only had like three more and i literally visited like four different dollar trees and i couldn't find any white so the only other color that I was okay with was this pink, only because it would match the Cricut a little bit. So I got a whole bunch of these. I also got these. Um, I originally got the clear ones. Once again, there wasn't enough, so they didn't have clear either. And the only ones that I found were pink. So, I mean, I just went for it because they're very useful. I, I'm almost done. The only thing that I need to do is <laughs> when everyone calms down in Ikea, I need to go and I need to get another one of these shelves, which I think is like only 15 bucks. So when I get another one of these shelves, I'll have room for all of these. I'll put them, you know, on the sides like that. 
and I think that that should be almost done now for the fabric you guys like this this is nothing this is just I would say like one 20th of the fabric that I have there's some right here there's some right there and these two bins that bottom bin is full of like spandex and um like swimwear type fabrics this right here has a mix of like wovens and whatever um i have some fur but the big problem is is that it doesn't fit in the closet and it's, as you can see like it's breaking one of the bins on the bottom already but like the clothes that i have in the closet i it's very just inconvenient because it just doesn't fit and then the rest of the fabric i actually have I got more fabric right there, there, thinking here, and there, 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 there. <laughs> I got some furs over there. Also got patterns that I never use, but these were my mom's and they're so old school and they're also in Russian, most of them. Look at that, 1997. <sighs> this is like vintage. This is really cool but um yeah so i have that i don't want to get rid of them just because they're so old and cool <laughs> let's get some fabric to take home i'm such a bad cameraman i'm not even helping freehand freehand so the way that I am actually planning on organizing the fabric is by making them into like little miniature bolts. Um, if bolts is what I can call them, maybe like rolls. But I have actually seen quite a few videos and this is not my idea, but I know people use comic book boards um, in order to roll their fabrics and they put them up in like bookshelves or like the Ikea cube. Uh, media centers or I don't know what to call what to call them. That's what I'm doing I actually ordered some comic book boards from Amazon and they should be coming in tomorrow So I'm really excited about that and I'll show you guys how I am going to wrap them up and You know put them in a bookshelf and what bookshelf is that? Well, it's this one. It's this bookshelf right here Let me just show you I got it yesterday. I ordered it from Target Look, it's basically the same exact, same exact thing as this from Ikea. Except this from Ikea originally, I think it's like 60 or $70. For this, I only paid $38 with the tax included from Target. I mean, it's literally the same thing. It's just a little bit more narrow. Like, it's not as it's not as wide it's a little bit more narrow but it'll work for me the area that i am planning on putting it is right over here so that is actually currently what we're using for my boyfriend's nightstand table um but we've kind of came to an agreement that that would be a uh, use for our son's toys and that would be moved to another location and over here will be my bookshelf so he's sacrificing he's sacrificing a lot for me thank you babe I said, thank you, babe. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> what to do? What to do with that? I really don't even know anymore. All right. So the plan for right now is actually to, to build the bookshelf because I've been waiting all day. And it seems like there's always something to do and I cannot get my shit done. So without further ado, I'm going to build my bookcase. And... And wait for my comic book boards tomorrow so i can finally get my fabric shit straightened out i'm sorry i'm crazy so much okay all right let me put the camera and you guys can watch me build i guess if you want or not whatever <laughs>
have a rectangle. Yay! We got done doing the bookcase this morning and if you guys can please not pay attention to this button right there that'd be great I, it just like appeared out of nowhere overnight so but yeah we just had to like hammer in this backing right here um that's all we really had to do in the morning we didn't want to do it at night because we don't want the neighbors to call again and complain we're making noise so the fact that it's like right next to the bed i mean you know what gotta deal with it <laughs> It is what it is. We have to work with the space that we have. I appreciate you, babe, for sacrificing um, the nightstand table, which now he put some of his stuff in mine, so it's okay. We worked it out. But um, the next step is to get that off the table so that I can start wrapping up the fabric. My boards, I saw they were delivered today, early in the morning, I'm proud of you, Amazon. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta wait for that for like the whole day, but um, those are in, I have to go get the package, and yeah, like I said, I need to start organizing the fabrics, and I'll show you how I'm planning on doing it. What are you laughing at, little boy? What are you laughing at? <laughs> okay, well, look what I got. I got the comic book boards. The ones that I got are 7 inches by 10 and a half inches. I have one open right here. Um, so they look pretty thick. They look um, and feel sturdy. I know, I'm sorry. I couldn't get like the, the thickness in there. Um, but they look pretty sturdy. So I think that they should be good for wrapping fabrics. Especially fabrics that are like more lightweight. Like chiffons and um, light knit jerseys, you know little cottons but for the thicker fabrics like these right these right here which by the way I also got from walmart and i think that it's pretty cool this one is like a quilted fabric i mean it was four yards for four dollars i think i might use this as like a lining for a jacket or something and then this um is another like very warm uh thick fabric it sort of feels like fleece um so i might use that for um the fall or, or winter but anyways fabrics like these i'm actually thinking about cutting up some cardboard boxes and uh using those because i think that it obviously it, it won't be a good idea to try to wrap it on this so when i once i get to uh trying to wrap these fabrics into a bolt i will let you know what my plan is but for now i'm gonna get to the lighter weight fabrics so I think I already mentioned the size of the boards, and if I didn't, they're 7 by 10 and a half inches. And by the way, in one pack that I got, you get 100 boards. I'll put the link down in the description below just in case of everything. Because the boards are 10 and a half inches in length, I want my fabric to be, I want there to be like some space on the top. And maybe a little bit space on the bottom. I don't know. I'll figure that out. But in total, I want there to be a difference of like one inch. So basically, since this is ten and a half, I want my fabric folded nine and a half inches in width. So what I did was I did like little markers on my uh, sewing table mat. And so this distance right here is nine and a half inches. So that I know when I'm folding it over, um, I need to stay in between these marks. <laughs> All right, so let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so I already have my fabric folded. As you guys saw, I folded it twice, going more towards like the middle. So I don't have any like... Um, raw edges coming down from the side so i have the two folds on the top and the bottom and all i'm gonna do is take my board um probably like four inches away from the edge i'm gonna place it down on the fabric take this end fold it over which by the way isn't this a gorgeous fabric it's outdoor fabric but <laughs> listen you can make anything out of anything so i'm probably gonna make um uh, i don't know like a denim type jacket yolo okay so um moving on 
folded this fabric and all you need to do is just continue folding it over but just make sure that when you're folding it you're folding it kind of tight and you're not folding it loose or anything like that because it, it's kind of good can't talk because then it will kind of defeat the purpose you want to make sure that the fabric is nice and tight as tight as possible so that it looks nice and crisp and you're gonna do this all the way until the fabric is done on the other side ah, I can't wait to work with this fabric isn't it a beauty okay all right I'm almost done I'm almost done I really don't know why it's bubbling up maybe because I didn't fold it evenly or as evenly as it should be even though I thought it was but <clears throat> it is good enough it's coming out looking very pretty and so once you get to the end right you're right here you take a pin or two and you're just gonna pin it down right there like that so that it stays in place okay and that's it that's all I'm doing I'm gonna do that for a whole bunch of fabrics wish me luck So this is how it's coming out so far, like my fabrics. Um, now I'm actually getting to the more thicker fabric. So what I'm doing is I have some boxes, some Amazon boxes, um, that I actually cut out. So I'm going to use these. This is longer than the comic book uh, boards. The reason why I'm making the cardboard longer than the comic book boards is because these first three shelves, they're um, smaller than... The bottom two so I need for it to be longer and as you guys can see I already started putting some like I guess thicker or more yardage fabric um, that will end up being like thicker and a bigger bolt um, on the bottom so I'm very happy with how this is turning out to be um, once again I'm using cardboard I had an idea of using oak tag I don't know where my oak tag went so I'm gonna need to cut up some more boxes and just continue this journey. <laughs> okay, so I actually organized the fabrics and as you guys can see, it's like in a shade of rainbow or RGB, as my boyfriend likes to call it because he's a gamer, so that's how they refer to that. But anyways, um, I tried my best to organize it like by color. So obviously it's not perfect because they're not solid colors. They're not like solid reds or solid oranges. So there were a couple of fabrics that I was like, where should I put this? Because this has like five different colors. Like... <laughs> Um, but I try to do my best. I think it looks well. Please, I just noticed. Please don't mind my hair because I recently just woke up. I try to look cute and it's just not working out for me. I did my hair really quick. Um, so let, let me be. But anyways, besides that, I do have some extra fabrics over here on the side. Um, and I have a plan. So I want to take these boards and I want to um put them up on the side to make it all pretty i plan on spray painting the shelves and gold so that it kind of matches more with the background that i'm working on right now it's still not even done and it's been how many months but you know <laughs> um that's a different story but anyway so i think that they would look cute in gold so that i can put some extra fabrics there this is a metallic finish i don't have a primer I'm just going to paint this on top of the wood and see how it turns out. I think it will be fine. I mean, regardless, they're not going to be seen that much. Just the, like the little sides of them. So, yeah, I think it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. 
Here they are. They are all done and I think they came out better than I thought they would, honestly. So, and also they only took maybe like half an hour to do. But um mind you, I did not use a primer. I uh we just used the gold. We did like a couple of layers. And I also one thing I do wish I did or have is some kind of like uh like a, a gloss coating like a top coating i don't have that so maybe i'll either get one or if i don't and i want to stack up my fabrics on here i don't know how this paint is going to react with the fabric so i probably will want to add like a sheet of like paper or some something in between the fabric and the shelves because i don't want like this paint coming off on my fabric over some time you know because i'm not going to use it like right away so that's the only thing but other than that i mean you guys can whoops you guys can see the gold right i mean it goes with what i'm trying to work with here i think it looks very well they are going to go right over here and so yeah that's that so by the way um uh, one thing i didn't mention is these boards, these this wood, actually came from Home Depot. So if you go in the lumber section, they have a whole bunch of planks, a whole bunch of like different width um, boards. I think I paid like $20 for this, which is like 10 inches by 8 feet. And I asked them to cut it for me. So I asked them to cut 15 inch planks. And the rest of the wood that was left over from the 8 feet, I just took that home and maybe I'll think of where to put that somewhere else um so that's that also i got these um brackets to hold up the shelves so i was like debating with myself right now whether or not i should paint them um gold as well because i kind of forgot about them right now but i don't think i'm gonna do it i think it's just extra work plus the whole theme from the background if you guys can see it's like that copper metallic gold metallic with white so like my boyfriend pointed out that kind of goes along with the, with my theme so i'm not even gonna bother plus white wall so yeah Ooh, almost hit my foot <laughs> Here they are, they are now installed. And this is what I found and what I'm gonna use to put on top of here so that the fabrics are not directly on the wood um, because I don't want the paints to interact with the fabric. So I'm gonna cut this out, this is from Ikea. It's just like a, a white clear um, plastic covering. I, I don't know what this would be used. I don't know what people use this for, maybe like for in the kitchen or something. But I'm going to use it for that. So I'm just going to cut it to size and place it on there and stack my fabric up. And try to organize it and make it look all nice and lovely. So I don't know about anybody else. I think it came out pretty good considering the fact that I have such a small... Uh, space to work with so I will be enjoying this and I'm sorry guys for not being able to post in like two weeks or more um, I this video is just taking me way too long to do plus other things so but the good news is that this is actually making me more motivated more creative so I will be definitely getting more videos out for you guys so please just stay tuned and i hope that you think that this was pretty cool thank you guys so much for watching once again if you enjoyed this video if you watch some of my other videos and you are new to this channel please don't hesitate hit that subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching and i will definitely be posting very soon 